What do you see digital storytelling in the future? The major technology changes that we're witnessing uh, is the popularity of tablet computers like the iPad and uh, the ability for students to be able to use one device that's both a computer and a still digital camera and a video camera and uh, an audio recorder and everything that you want to do is right there in a, in a piece of technology that you can basically hold in your hand and carry around like your, uh, your index uh, pad there. Uh, so it's wireless, it's uh, high definition, it's got a lot of capabilities and it ultimately will become more affordable as more companies start creating them and as more people start buying them. So in the future I think we will see every student uh, from early childhood to adult will have some kind of portable computing device that will really be the digital storytelling creation machine. It will allow them to collect and put together any type of digital story that they want to. And with the touch of a button, that digital story will be sent to a cloud computing server somewhere and they won't even have to worry about storing it on the tablet. It will be accessible from any location uh, on any device. So I think uh, whether it's one year from now or five years from now, at some point in the relatively near future we're going to see this uh, explosion of portable devices that allow anyone to create a digital story and share it almost instantane instantaneously with anyone else around the world. Uh, the thing that I've also been struck by while attending this conference is how many people are using digital storytelling around the world. Uh, I've met people from Colombia and Norway and Finland and uh, Europe and Asia and every country you can imagine and they're all using digital storytelling uh, some in similar ways and some in different ways and so uh, I think that in the future we're going to just see more of that. Digital storytelling uh, I don't believe is a replacement for traditional education but it's just an additional way that students and educators will be able to integrate technology into the teaching and learning process. So I think that uh, today you ask the typical student or teacher, do you know something about digital storytelling? Some do, a few do, but most do not. In the future, people will just know how to do it with maybe the term digital storytelling may not even be what we'll, we'll be using to describe this technology. In fact, I had a discussion with Joe Lambert a day or two ago and he said that they were considering dropping the term digital from their center. It's called the Center for Digital Storytelling and they may just start calling it the Center for Storytelling because the digital part is just something that is going to become ubiquitous. It's, you know, textbooks are going to be digital and newspapers are already becoming digital and you know movies and television shows you're able to now watch on computing devices and it's all being digitally delivered so the digital the transition from an analog world to a digital world is the process that we're going through now but in the future it's just going to be the way the world is and storytelling is important because it's going to be a way that students share what they have learned, what they believe, what they hope to, to do in the future, and it just will become part of the educational process in a way that uh, a few years ago it was hard for us to imagine. Thank you very much.